So this is going to be a part two to recognizing your woman or recognizing your man, because what we're doing is recognizing the wholeness and the whole person within us. So when you look at the stars and the moon, um, one of the things that we've been told in the past is that we do not um, worship the sun and the moon. And there is no worship, really, if you think about it, when you look at the sun and the moon, or if you study it, um, because looking at the sun and the moon or to know what the sun and the moon does to the human body is no different than um, a man and a woman connecting physically and they study each other. Um, my point is, is, you know, I can relate it to the Bible if that helps anybody, but I want to get into the reason why old things pass away. So the wise men followed the star to find the Christ. And so these wise men were um, prophets and prophets. This is what the East called them. And so if we don't study to show ourselves approved, what happens is, is that we'll miss the mark. And the, re the reason why a, a lot of us are behind in things or we're stuck is that we're always trying to resolve the same situation or something that we have no knowledge of. And, and some of the knowledge that we have lacked in has to do with the sun, the moon, and the stars such as your birthday. So when old things pass away, there can be the individual who has Scorpio in their chart somewhere. Scorpio is the energy of death and regeneration. Um, and it also puts you in the mind of Judas because Judas took part in Jesus' death um, even at the wedding, there was a transformation of the water turning to wine. And so when we look at situations in our lives, if we knew more about the sun, the moon, and the stars, and even where they are positioned right now, we would have a foothold on situations that could be coming in the next year or two concerning, you know, our natal chart, our birth date. And if this is what I'm gonna say off the chart for anybody that listens, don't judge me because I'm not judging you. I am simply teaching what I am called to teach because it will help people that have the consciousness for it. So if you are not in consciousness for this information, just click off. There, there has to be a place and a time when we begin to respect each other, such as now. The water being turned to wine is a transformation. Scorpio's energy does that for us because we don't see it, the Pluto energy, which is the Scorpio symbol, because we don't see it and we haven't studied, it catches us off guard. And what happens is now we're caught up in turmoil. The turmoil is more enhanced and more chaotic because we don't know where it's coming from. But if we had a known, like many others before um, now, uh, if we were taught like many others, then we would have the information and we wouldn't have as many adversities in our lives. You see, we are emotional people and we feed off of emotion. And most people don't even understand that emotion has to be controlled. And that's why Jesus was teaching the, the um, disciples about uh, mastery and disciplining yourself, such as in, you know, um, when they were out on the water and Peter came up and you know, he's saying, master, it's a storm. You know, many people talk about the storm outside of us, but they never talk about the storm within. We have to get to a place where every part of God's creation is valued, meaning from uh, the sun to the earth. Because if there was no sun, then I would say, okay, I agree with you. We shouldn't study that. But because it is one, you want to know, okay, and what about the planets? You know, what are they doing to serve us? Because everything in this world is connected. People, children, money, um, energy, all of these things. All right, so in this time, and the scriptures that I brought up were, um, old things have passed away, the new has begun. When you look at the water bearer in um, uh, Luke 22, Jesus 
um, told the people where he would be at. And you look into the sky or you look at the constellation, look up the water bearer and you'll see that it leads you to the Aquarius um, symbol. Um, and because of that, which is Uranus, and because of that, you begin to connect things. And it's not by someone's um, okaying that you study this or do this. You, you let God lead you. You know, because you'll begin to get an understanding of your life and then you won't have to go through some of the turmoil and devastations that many of us had because you have Scorpio in your chart. Right. And then it's not just Scorpio, but the whole chart, the wheel of life, just like Ezekiel said, a wheel in the middle of the wind. I mean, you know, really think about it. The wheel of life is our wheel of life, it has 12 areas that it um, records for us to master. And not all of them are what we have to master, but the ones that um, have that designated sign that we have to master. So when you look at that scripture again, and you ask yourself, old things have passed away and new has come, we have a time that is showing the signs of a passing away of an age. And many people are still, they're, they're caught up because I don't want to say uh, it in a negative way. I just want to, you know, address the fact that even back in the 1600s, times change. We read about it. We don't have an understanding of it per se, unless we really get into the words of the history when we read it. But it happened, right? And it was recorded. So there is a, a time and a season where we're coming out of an age called the Piscean age. And I've talked about this in my classes and I've also talked about it in videos. You could go back and listen a little bit more because I was taught to integrate the energies of the planets into um, the messages because Christ has given us a message. And, and, and there's a lot of mysteries there that people are overlooking. And for that reason, we're not mastering our life. You master the energy of your body because we're all energy. Many people have come up with that. We are of consciousness. That means that we begin to awaken to what is happening around us. And we are actually being led into the time and the season where the change is, which is for Aquarian age. So we're coming out of an age of darkness. The Piscean age was the Christian age where the Romans were fighting um, the wars and it was a dark age and so of course because we see the sun outside and I've said this um, it doesn't seem dark but our hearts and our minds have been dark we've been um, angry with each other we've been fighting one another and Aquarian age brings in the unity the brotherly love the ability for us or the heart for us to help one another. You know what I'm saying? And so with that unity, you can see that the change is here. Even this year, you could see people coming together, unifying themselves and saying, let's get together and do things. This is the sign of Aquarius. It's a healing time. Families are to come together. You know what I'm saying? And so here, old things how you felt last year about somebody and what you didn't like about people. And did you identify with your own self? You know, did you question your own self about uh, if you are right about everything that you look at you, did you look at your heart? And this is where old things begin to pass away and new is able to come because now you'll have an understanding of maybe you were wrong. Maybe you were out of order. And even if they were wrong, maybe have a, a, some peace about yourself to just let go of all the malice and I need to be right. And, you know, I'm the number one and it's all about me, flesh. Old things have to pass away. The Aquarian age is a spiritual age. Therefore, anyone operating in the flesh, they're going to they gonna be left behind. If you don't have a relationship with a, a spiritual um plug in. I don't even want to call you and say, you got to be this and you got to be that because that's not even my belief system. I see beyond um, a lot of the things and that's being said about my religion is better and mine's is better. I don't believe in that because whenever you have a whole heart, then you just love everybody because they're who they are. You even love people 
where they are, when they have not come into a place of acceptance for who they are, you love them and they will come in. And so old things have passed away. Fighting, hurting other people, it's past. And, and the ones that you challenged to bring them into a cycle of hurt and pain, some of them make it and some don't. But sometimes you'll challenge somebody and they'll show you who you are. Now you can take that however you want to. I believe in love, but I had to find the love within me. I believe that any woman or any man, whatever you do, wherever you go in life, you're gonna be running in darkness until you come to the light, Aquarian age. Jesus pointed it to them to it. Study, go deeper, search the mysteries and stop following what people tell you. Let your heart be open to receive the truth. Know thyself, be blessed.